Hello friends, welcome back to Learn and Explore. After a long time, I'm making a video. And uh, today's topic is about how to export X, Y, Z coordinates. That is sting, northing, and RL values. And this video is uh, for a request from our one of our subscribers, one of our channel's subscribers. So um, in previous, uh, I already uploaded a video about this, about the topic. But there I use uh, 2d polyline co uh, coordinates so now today i will show you how to export the coordinates of a 3d polyline that is the easting value uh, northern value and the z values this is a video uh, which i had uploaded so before going to start the start this topic i want to request you to please subscribe our channel and click this bell icon to receive the uh, updates uh, for if you uh, click this bell icon so whenever I will upload another new video, you will be get notified. So let's begin the topic. I have uh, some data points here. That is uh, uh, x, y, z coordinates. You can see uh, if I use id command, then it will show you the coordinates. This is see this is x, y, and z values. So every vertices has the three coordinates: x value, y value, and z value. So if we if I if I want to uh, export all the or some of the points directly to the Excel, uh, in if I do it manually, it will take a lo long time. So I will make this to very easier to you. So watch it. First of all, what you have to do is you have to generate a three D polyline using three P command, three D polyline command. So and after that line, we will export that line vertices and to the coordinates in the Excel file. So let's uh, create a 3D polyline. So to create a 3D polyline, the command shortcut is 3P. Okay, 3P, 3P enter. And now uh, you have to draw the line. And if you want this, uh, which coordinates you want? just uh, draw the line through the points and for example if you uh, if this node is not displayed then you can uh, uh, activate it from the snap point mode okay so first let me draw the line first this is actually 3d polyline not a 2d polyline for 2d polyline the command is 2p a PL sorry PL so this is the 3d polyline I, I want these coordinates you can see that the vertices are here so I connected the points with a 3d polyline now what I will do is I have started uh, the 3d polyline from this point so this will be the first one first coordinate and this will be the second coordinate so this is the, in this order the coordinates will display now I will export all the vertices coordinates that is x, y and rl values, the z values in a excel file, file, separate excel file. So let's do it. So what you have to do is first select the 3d polyline. Now apply list command and uh, you can also give uh, the shortcut as li. So I am giving the list command. So uh, after applying the list command, a AutoCAD text window will appear. And it will show you the details of the vertices so you can see that the only one and two vertices has been shown so here it is saying that press enter to continue so i will press enter again it is showing again 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 it is showing press enter to continue so until the command is displayed then we will uh, enter the to press the enter button every time okay so after the command button exits you can also enter again uh, the uh, text window will disappear don't worry just simply you can uh, press function key 2 f2 okay the text window will appear so now what you have to do is you have to copy select you just i'm just uh, dragging and selecting the what i have uh, the coordinates the every text data see I have applied the list command here so I am copying up to here okay so now what I will do is I will copy all the text here and I am going to 
excel sheet this is a, an excel sheet and right click paste so what i have done i uh, copied all the data and pasted it in the excel sheet so let's uh, now we have to extract these x y and z values okay so for this what you have to do is because uh, it is uh, in a, a single column okay see these coordinates are in a only single column there is no data in the next column so first we have to divide the column okay the same method what i have shown in the previous video that is in x y uh, coordinates this is um, something different in this video okay so to break this uh, data into number of columns what you have to do is select that column okay whole column just click here and it will uh, select the all column select this column and go to data menu in excel then go to text to column options and here the convert text to column wizard will appear and choose delimited then next and check mark on all boxes and in the other button you have to put the equal symbol why because of the x coordinate if you put this x, uh, equal to symbol off then it will show x equal to this this is the preview that uh, the text will be converted into number of columns so if i uh, put equal to symbol then the coordinates are divided into separate columns so now click finish see what happens the all the text and data is converted into number of columns now we have to filter this data to rectify these coordinates okay because these are uh, in far distance so we have to arrange this data for this uh, this is uh, i will filter this column because here is the x and here is the y, uh, x and point 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 so in every x y z coordinate there is a common option point or else a at or else x so let's uh, use this point so if i uh, filter this point then we will get this x y z values so how to filter the data just select i'm just uh, typing filter here filter and selecting the whole column which includes the point option okay now go to home tab and sort and filter in filter okay then a filter draw will appear okay so click here and deselect all the text i will choose only point because in the point option i have the data okay so i'm choosing this point now okay see i have chosen only point so this is the coordinates but it says coordinates now this is what we need x y and z so now select this right click copy and go to another sheet create or create another sheet now paste this data so this is the easting this is the northing this is the z values um typing as easting northing and the rl and i uh, i told you that this is the first point okay this is the second point so let's check the second point i'm um, mm, keeping that id command and click this point so this is 25336082162 this is the northing values so i will check the data here so let's zoom the text see 608.216 this is showing in two digit, two digit you can add this 21556 so 2156 so this is the total method uh, whatever i had points something some points i can now just so what do you want you got one two and this like this way and in this video only i will uh, i want to show you another thing how to draw a 3d polyline using the coordinates from the excel 
okay so now i will apply a formula here to draw the line so what i'll do this is string nodding and rl i we have to uh, create the formation of the data into comma formation i already discussed in the in our previous videos you can go and check uh, those videos here is the video for this this is the video how to import xy coordinates from excel to autocad and also how to import text from excel to autocad so let's uh, now i will show you how to draw a 3d polyline using these coordinates first uh, i am deleting this existing line okay now i want to draw the line at a second within a second okay so i'm going to excel sheet i i will apply a formula here the formula is equal to this is thing then ampersand within quotation put comma within double quotation then again ampersand then choose nothing then ampersand within double quotation comma then ampersand then the cheat values now enter so this is the formula if you uh, want to learn in details so go and check the videos what i have mentioned i will also uh, give the uh, link on the description and in the i button also okay now i have give a, created this formula here and i will drag and drop up to the last uh, row so this is the data okay i have created in comma format now just copy it right click and copy and go to autocad uh, i'm ch changing color so use the command 3p because i'm drawing 3d polyline and i have the coordinates three coordinates x y and z values so 3p command and don't uh, use ctrl v for pasting the data just uh, right click here right click here and paste see the result is in front of you so the line has been drawn at a instant okay so friends if you like this tutorial please uh, do subscribe our channel and share with your friends who needs this and don't forget to press this bell icon because whenever i will upload a another video then you will be notified thank you for supporting us and make thank you thank you so much